Hey guys, it's Daps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am super excited to be sharing this video with you as usual. In this video, I want to be showing you how you can use a platform called Side.pro to clone any website, any landing page out there and have them live. So if you are really excited about this, let's get started into the tutorials immediately. Right on my screen here is site.pro as in literally site.pro. You can check them out. If you come here, you would see their platform. It doesn't really look appealing in that sense. It says buy domain, get website builder. So they are a website builder platform that can literally help you design any website, uh, literally help you host any website, e-commerce website features too as well with a few click of a button. So you can see uh they have over 200 awesome templates but that's not really uh emphasis in this tutorial but one thing they have on their website that is interesting that i want you to check is their website import future this literally would help you clone any website and then import it onto their platform also good if you want to get started all you need to do is to just create a new website or for you to just click the register button either way you are going to be doing the same thing so once you are here you need to yes you want to create a website you need to put your email in a name and a password uh, you can also register with facebook or with your google account directly and once you do that accept their time of service then hit the register button that's literally everything you need to do and then you will get a notification an email for you to confirm your email once you click that email you would have access to your dashboard it's that simple uh, so i have done this registration before so i don't want to do that again but i just want to show you exactly how to do that so let me log in into the platform so that we can continue from where you are if you were to have registered once you get to the dashboard of site.pro you will have the option for you to create a new website unlike yours you will not have this here because i just added a domain name to this platform so once you get here you will need to possibly eat the create new website and then you see that you need to buy a domain name from them or you need to connect uh, your domain name is free or you can literally just transfer your domain to them so you need to use this domain for you to be able to use that platform so that's the requirement for you to use the futures so if you have a domain name already somewhere that you can use that's fantastic just connect it uh, you would see type the domain in here you see here it will take one to 24 hours for this to take effect but in my own case it took like a, an hour or two i really am not sure but i took a little while for this to happen so i just type an existing domain name which is this uh, gplasset.com and then uh, i was provided a name server and then i updated my name server in my domain registrar and after i think one hour or so when i came back uh, i saw that my domain was ready to use uh, so that's it so uh you want to do that once you do that then you will have this option here for you to now use their platform so then i will just hit the edit button and this will load up site.pro website builder so according to them here they have over 200 template which is 228 templates in different categories you can search and search around to design a random website with them that's literally up to you but for the purpose of this example we want to see how to import an existing website into their platform or a landing page we just want to clone it uh so and that will bring us to this feature here that says import any website for the purpose of this example i picked up a random landing page to use as test purpose so you can see this is the landing page here i picked this landing page up from clickbank i don't even know about this or what they do i'm just using these for test purpose i'm not encouraging you to go pick up random landing page and start cloning but i'm just showing you this for educational purposes alone so now let's copy this url and then let's come back here and let's paste this here so let's take away the http protocol this is our url so let's just hit the import button that's everything we need to do to clone this website so let's wait a uh, while this website is cloning that landing page uh, let's see the accuracy let's see what this platform can come up with
that's it our clone is done and then we have a cloned version of our landing page here as you can see literally the same thing we have here we now have here i find this very 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 fantastic so before we publish this we can literally come here and do a preview so let's see what it actually look on a live website so this is it you can see this is fantastic so you can see that uh you can see there's a need for some padding or margin whatever here uh so you need to come uh you need to use this preview option for you to be able to see to see where you need to make some changes add some margin add some padding sometimes you can do this and the outlay will be distorted at some point so you need to check this out to be sure and you can also check different a version of devices for you to see how all of this is popping so you can know exactly where to make necessary changes so you can also check the tablet view see that everything is fine and finally the mobile view so you can see this is not really popping well on the mobile so you may want to make necessary adjustment especially to this here is not popping well on the mobile uh, generally apart from that i think everything is fine everything is working very very well so that's uh the beauty of using uh this tool so let me close this so uh you can come here and make some changes change text uh write something new change uh you can see everything the element here is clickable if you can use any default landing page builder like gutenberg elementor you should be able to use this so i really don't want to waste so much time trying to I show you how to make necessary adjustment but in case you want me to do a tutorial separately on how to use this platform you find it very fascinating just let me know in the comment section i'll take a look at that to see if i can make a tutorial like that so that's literally everything you need to do and you can still do more under the settings you can come to settings here you can come to pages here you can change the name of the page do item name this is the name you can change it to whatever name that uh, you want do you want to index this page or you do not want to index it you can do some seo for your page uh, background you can change some things you can add some scripts maybe you want to put a code in the header or in the body or in the footer uh, you can add more pages you can just come here create a new page give it a page name and then do the same thing uh, clone uh, that uh, so there is so much so much you can do here you can come to styles you can have a favicon in case you want to do that too go experiment with this platform guys and let me know in the comment section if you uh, get good result trying to use them or if you have any issues or you need me to help you do anything just let me know i'm also experimenting with them i just thought to share with you um while i am experimenting too so that's it i'm not sure i want to publish this right now i just still want to experiment to see how things work so check this platform out and let me know exactly what your results are in the comment section and that's my time for this video i hope this video has been of immense value to you if you're asking me a thumbs up if you have any issues as usual like i told you earlier let me know in the comment section i will look out for them and that's my time i would see you in another video until then have a nice time